Hello there. With the launch of the DJI Osmo Pocket 3, we got a little surprise on top of that. It already with the Pocket 2, there was a wireless microphone if you had the creator combo, but it was specific to the DJI Pocket 2. This one is called DJI Mic 2, and the camera can take two microphones. So is there a successor coming to the DJI mic? Likely, because the surprise is in the manual and not even in the marketing material. Let me show you in the menus. When you turn the DJI Mic 2 on, it will show on the screen that DJI Mic 2 transmitter 1 is connected and used for audio input. But what you also will see is the green bar at the top of the screen. That indicates to you that it has an external microphone connected. It's been like that since the DJI Osmo Action 4. Before that, there was a little microphone logo. Now we have this green bar. So it's always a good indication that your external microphone works. So the thing that DJI didn't promote at all and that we all were speculating about because it is mentioned in the manual is when you go into the settings, you go in here and you go into the wireless mic menu, right? And then you go down and you say, one thing was the audio to video sync. That's basically if you start recording on the DJI Osmo Pocket 3, it will also start the recording in the DJI mic too, so you do, you don't forget, which is it happens so often to me that I forget. But what they didn't tell us about at all is 32-bit float recording, and that's big. That's a big thing. It wasn't mentioned anywhere in the marketing material. It was purely mentioned in the manual. And I've taken recordings with and without 32-bit float on the DJI Mic 2, and yes, we have. 32-bit float. So the bad news is that while, um, while the DJI Pocket tree find this, where is it? There. While the DJI Pocket tree supports timecode, the timecode is not synced with the DJI Mic 2. That's a bug, well, or lack of a feature that I have reported to DJI and they have sent it on to the engineering team. So we might still see that coming as a future firmware upgrade. And one would hope that seeing that we now have DJI Mic 2 transmitters, there will be a standalone DJI Mic 2 pack to replace the original one that then has 32-bit float and hopefully also will be able to handle timecode. To timecode sync the DJI Osmo Pocket 3, um, I'll leave a link above that shows how, the, how it's done on the DJI Osmo Action 3. It's the same process with this. The cable that can be used for that is the uh, Saramonic uh, SRC2001. I will leave a link to that in below in the description. There's one culprit. If you want to time code sync the DJI cameras with the new Rode Wireless Pro, you either have to set that to sending time code on both channels because Rode in their wisdom have decided to send time code in the right channel when everybody else is sending time code in the left channel. So that's a bit of a culprit. I discovered something else though on top of that. I previously tried the Saramonic SRC2003, which is the same cable as the other one. It has a female connector instead of a male connector. And it didn't work. And I actually realized why. Saramonic and their wisdom have uh, swapped left and right around. So this cable now works for the Rode Wireless Pro to sync timecode on cameras that require timecode on the left channel. Anyhow, if this video was useful to you, leave us a like, maybe subscribe, and I'll see you in another one.